Hello, Mount Zion Artist Guild. We're in the design studio, and we're talking about the Beauty and the Beast project. The item today is the castle turret transition panels. You can see that I have a sketch, which we'll get to in just a minute. Before we do, we need to take uh, the 30,000 foot view. And so we're gonna pan back and look at this whole stage right scenery elevation. What you can see here on the bottom is the uh, design for the walls. And this obviously has the single door and also the field stones that we've been so diligently painting the last several weeks. Well, you'll notice now in the design, there's this upper portion that we're calling the transition panels. I've made a few videos before and mentioned how these 10 foot panels end right here. And then there's another level here. You can't see from this print, but that level goes up another eight feet. And so it just looks real awkward to have nothing that spans the 10 foot panel to the eight foot panel. So you can see we've designed this here to show how we're gonna transition that. And that really now leads us to the detail of this video. We're going back to the castle turret transition panels. We're going to use uh, one inch foam or half inch foam either way, but we have these three panels and you can tell there are three panels because there are dotted lines right here that show you where the uh, marks are between the panels. We're gonna cut these panels in a silhouette form to outline this uh, castle turret shape, the roof of this window or so forth. And I've talked about this before, how we've used these picture references. And here's the project for those of you who will choose to accept. I'm opening up the design. I'm assigning some homework for those of you who work with me in the design area. For those of you who work with me as apprentice painters, consider yourselves on the hook for a sketch of some kind. I like to start using these opportunities to uh, show you how to design something and really take it to the finish line. Obviously, we start off with a line drawing that's made of simple horizontal and, per and perpendicular lines, but it can't stay like this. Somehow, we have to take these reference images here and draw in something here that becomes our final line work, something that we can project and trace and then paint in on the panels. Now, to pick up your homework, you'll go into the design studio, which I know that all of you are aware where that's located, and you look to the design station. And in front of that sign that says design station, you'll see the copies that you'll be able to use. Now, there are a dozen copies, so there are enough for everybody for sure. You'll see that they say copy um, stamped in the right corner. And the reason I put the references image on the actual copy is so that you can take that with you and have a one-stop shop, if you would, to design. If you need clearer pictures or larger pictures to look at, don't hesitate. I made a stack of copies. These are five by sevens and these are three by five. So you can take one of each, you can take a smaller or a larger, or you can take just uh, the actual print. But here's the assignment. Take a print. Using these reference images, I want you to draw in your design. Now let's go over a few elements. This right here, this shape, this rectangular shape that's behind this triangle, that's the roof. So I'm using uh, this roof right here as the reference for what's behind here. So the field stone goes up, and I like to see some roof shingles here. This triangle shape here, I use that from this uh, window here. So use these themes that you see in this window to draw in your design here. And obviously, the uh, turrets here are these basic block shapes here. Of course, you're going to have to draw in your rounds and your arches or whatever you choose to do there. Uh, but it, what I've done is provide the boundaries and the outline shapes. And then your job is to draw something in in detail that looks good. Make sure that your horizontal lines are as horizontal as possible. Make sure your vertical lines are as vertical as possible. If you're going to include curves and arches, do your best to use a, a circle tool or a compass or something that you can make clean arcs with. Now, flawlessness and perfection is not the goal, so don't be intimidated by this project. I will be the one that personally reviews every submission and then we'll get with you one-on-one -on -one to go over your design. The plan being that within two weeks from now, we're gonna confirm this final decision because uh, we'll have to start making these panels. So it is Friday, August 25th, and we're gonna make these due 
let's say in two weeks, which I don't know what that date is in this moment, but let's just plan that to be the case. So if you're interested, reply to this video by shooting me a text personally or on our Remind, and then I'll expect obviously anyone who's working with me in the design area or as an apprentice painter, um, I'm asking that you uh, complete this project. So with that said, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll go from there.